Why does it got that gauge and blur look to it? But who cares? All right, guys, what's up? This is in sort of impromptu video on my YouTube channel. I'm here currently at the Marietta Cemetery, Marietta, Georgia. Um, right behind me is the grave of uh, Mary Fagan, who, if you don't know, she was um, a young girl that was murdered at a the pencil company in Atlanta, Georgia, which is now a federal building. But anyways, I was here today because I am currently working on a documentary about Leo Frank and Mary Fagan. Don't know when that's going to be out. But I just didn't like sitting at home today, so yeah. Just got some shots of her grave, and I decided why not just take you on a tour of the cemetery, because nothing else better to do. Alright, let's go. And for those of you wondering, this is what her grave looks like. She has a massive plaque in front of her grave that I thought I would show you guys before I walked off. And of course they have this plaque here which kind of details everything what's going on but i'm not going to read it because i'm going to save that as a surprise for you guys for when you watch the documentary and then you also have this plaque right here when you come in that kind of tells you all about what happened and i apologize for the gaussian blur type look to my camera i don't know why maybe because i'm in a graveyard and I don't know, maybe spirits are interfering with my camera. Who knows? So, I apologize for the gauge and blur look. I did not do that on purpose. And my camera's being weird. And I am trying to get a new one, so there's that. All right, so that's Mary Fagan's grave right there. So yeah, let's go on a tour and just kind of walk around because I have never been here before, so let's go. All right, so I am currently making my way to this one plaque over here that talks about some lady in black. I apologize if the sun's extremely bright. Um, Cause there's this one over here that I legit thought was Mary Fagan. Cause I saw the plaque, but it's not. Um, it refers to this uh, legend called the lady in black. Um, suppose it's a woman that died here in Atlanta and her sister would always come and visit her and her sister would always wear black and that's why she's known as a lady in black and here it is you guys that plaque right there uh, right there is the supposed lady in black and this is a massive memorial that i think her sister put here very gorgeous memorial i will say that and why does my camera keep doing that gauge and blur thingy? <sighs> and this is the plaque I was talking about. It says, Lady in Black. This memorial to Mary Ann Gar Gardrell. I apologize if I butchered that name. 1853 to 1906 was erected by her grieving sister, Lucy. Musicians both and natives of Cobb County, Lucy visited this grave from her Atlanta home at least twice weekly for 48 years, many times on foot. Dressed always in mourning clothes, Lucy became known as the, known on the streets of Atlanta as the Lady in Black. Oh, this is an absolutely beautiful memorial. I'm not going to lie, that is absolutely gorgeous. And somebody left a penny here for luck. I'm not okay. going to touch Sorry, it. my camera died on me, so yeah, that's why there's a kind of a cut there. But as I was saying, there is some pennies actually placed on this monument, and you can even see some right in there, and then there's one right there. And then I guess a piece of the monument fell off from, I guess, somewhere up there. And also, if you come around this way, there's also an inscription on this side which i think is pretty neat so yeah i think i'm gonna go and find some other tombstones that are pretty cool because i think also right over there is the confederate side where all the confederate soldiers are buried so i think i might go there next but i think i did see a black another black plaque like this lady in black one not far from here so i think i'm gonna go check that one out i don't know if it's just me but there's just something cool, I guess, about walking through a nice historic cemetery. Um, yeah, it's just kind of very 
peaceful in a way, I guess. And because this is pretty, this is pretty nice. I'm trying to see if I see any more black plaques. I saw one. I could have sworn maybe over this way, but I could be wrong. But I'm not seeing another one, so we may be heading back to the Confederate side. and blur thing I apologize guys I really do if my camera keeps going in and out of focus it's just how it is Ooh, what's this that looks pretty neat can't really read it because it's just kind of all faded very interesting though Oh, look at the little cottage. That's probably like the little house there, which I think looks really cute. And here's another one of these older tombstones and they put it on a plaque. That looks pretty neat. I get so warm you can't even read it. Oh, there's another black plaque. I'm gonna go to it. This is the other black plaque and there's also one over this way, which I will go to after this one. It's very interesting to see all these old warm stones. <clears throat> Founders lot, William Harris. Oldest grave is on this plot for William Harris' son, William Capers G. Harris, 1823 to 1831. Mr. Harris, a wealthy planter, was a devoted Methodist and champion of education. In the War of 1812, he served in Captain Jet Thomas Company, 2nd Regiment, Georgia Militia. He was a, uh, a Colonel Cobb County Militia. 1813 to 1834, helped found 1851 Georgia Military Institute. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised just how well this place is kept up. But actually there's a lot of people that walk through here. Just been being just here, I've already, I've seen about two or three joggers coming through walking their dogs and stuff so there's the road right there that is um, I believe is called um, Powder Spring Street and then once you get to the square it turns it splits into North Marietta Street and then South Marietta Street so all right I'm gonna go take you over to this other plaque that's right over in here William Root Beloved merchant, druggist, and I cannot read that. Esca, I'm not even going to try to say it because I want to butcher that. He helped found St. James in 1842. In 1844, he built his home across from the church. His 1845 drugstore on the square was a town social center. The root home, one of the oldest wooden houses and a good specimen of early town architecture now stands at North Marietta Parkway in Polk Street. It is open to the public. May have to go to that one day. Y'all comment down below if you think it'd be interesting if I could try and get in there one day. Yeah, so that's William Root. And the word I could not pronounce is this one. Cause I, I suck pronunciation but yeah, I'm sorry. Which makes no sense. and 
I wanted to show you guys this statue over here that I thought was very neat. That's pretty neat as well. What is this statue right here? Appears to be of a old lady. Very beautifully done. Says Maddie Harris Lyon, 97, the mother of Marietta, was known for her years of zealous and affectionate service in religious, civic welfare, and patriotic activities. Her life was dedicated to the service of people, all races, a true humanitarian. She gave us unselfishly through religious and social service work. Through her inspiration, the Cobb County Welfare Department, the Cobb County Chapter of American Red Cross, the Community Chest, and other humanitarian agencies were founded. She was president of the Women's Missionary Society at the First Methodist Church, active in the Women's Christian Temperance Union, president of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, and the Ladies Confederate Memorial Association. Other associations include the Civil League of, other, uh, Civil League of Marietta, which later became the Women's Club, a charter membership in the Flower Garden Club, an honorary membership of the Marietta County Club. She took the lead in making the graves of the dead in the Confederate Cemetery adjacent to the city cemetery. It was said of Maddie Harris Lyon, I know I'm probably saying her last name wrong, my apologies. A, center, a city comes in, <clears throat> in time to have a personality and therefore a heart and in the very center of Marietta's heart, Maddie Harris Lyon is enshrined. She was a princess of the golden pen, of the golden pen for the letters of good cheer. She wrote a veritable da, da, darkus, I can't pronounce that, of good deeds to the poor and needy. A Mary to sit at the feet of her Lord and learned of his spirit and a Martha to translate his truth into blessing to his truth into blessings doing she was a great teacher for she taught Marietta to have a heart and a mighty love Reverend Marvin Williams she was a living example that old age can be beautiful and meaningful her life answered in prayer let me die working still tackling plans unfinished and undone clean to its end may my race be run no lagging steps, no faltering, no shrinking. Let me die working. Rest well, Miss Band. That's a nice tribute. That really is. All right, let's go do some more. Ooh, another black plaque. I was about to. <laughs> I am so sorry. My hair keeps getting in my face. Probably should put a pony. My hair in a ponytail, but wasn't thinking about that today before I left the house. S.V. Stanford, the greatest friend University of Georgia ever had, be begun his academic career in Marietta, principal superintendent city schools, 1892 to 1903. At Georgia, <clears throat> at Georgia, 1903 to 1945, promoted academics and sports facility chairman athletics from 1908 first head school of journalism in 1921 president 1932 to 1935 chancellor of Camp consolidated university 1935 to 1945 1929 stadium named in his honor and that's his tombstone stedman vinson stanford August 24th to 187 August 24th 1871 to September 15th 1945. And I believe right now we are at the Confederate side of the cemetery that monument I think it actually starts the Confederate cemetery so why don't we go take a look over here. I better walk on the pathway. I don't want to upset anyone. So yeah, I think all this right here is Confederate monuments, Confederate soldiers, and it's after Christmas time. It is currently January. And that is that some type of monument I believe is going to be built there. 
to our Confederate dead and in re in re erected and dedicated by Kennesaw Chapter United Daughters of the Confederacy, Marietta, Georgia, 1908. Oh, this was supposed to be an area where the little cannon was at. This little cannon served at the Georgia Mill Ter Terry Institute from 1852 to 1864. Then went into the Confederate Army, was captured on Sherman's March to the Sea, 1864 to 1865, and held as a trophy of war until 1910, when it was returned by the United States government to the Confederate Cemetery in Marietta, Georgia. It's currently not there, so I'm guessing it's getting some restoration work done. So yeah, this is a very... So, uh very well kept place. I don't know how many times I've already said that. I don't know if I've said that many times, but I think from here on out, oop, there we go, there I am. From here on out, I think I'm gonna stay on this pathway because I don't want to walk on the grass. That's just me. of the Confederate Cemetery. I was quiet towards the end, or quiet for the rest of it, because now I was, you know, being respectful. And, uh, yeah. So now, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just walking around. Um, see some more black, these, uh, oh, this is a slave lot. That black sign right there says slave lot. Oh goodness great, I just saw the statue of Maddie and it scared the crap out of me. Mmm, so jumpy. Slave lot. Look at this sign, looks like it's seen some better days. The only slave burial ground in any major white Georgia cemetery. Here are 19 Christian slaves and freed persons of Marietta. Christian, Christian were buried in unmarked graves. 1864, uh, 1848 to 1866. Only four have been positively named servants of Miss Eliza G. Roberts. Roberts? I have no idea. This sign is so decayed and they, they need to replace it. Servants of Miss Claire, I can't pronounce it, Hannah, Nancy, and Peggy. They lived adjacent to the north side of the First Presbyterian Church. So, oh, this is the slave lot, so I'm guessing there's one. So is this the whole slave lot? I'm kind of confused. But normally when they do little things like that those are usually infants from what I've heard but I could be wrong I know I saw another black plaque I think we already saw that one that's the Stanford yeah we saw that one that's over there General William Phillips. Now, he was a Confederate general. The Confederate flag's in the middle of that flag, or that cross. Uh, so this is the Phillips family right here.
We've already saw that. That black plaque that's over there. Metro! Woohoo! Sorry, Metro ambulance is dropping by. I have relatives that actually work for them. <laughs> see if we can find any more black plaques. I know I've seen at least a couple more. That one over there we've already seen. Yeah, I guess this cemetery isn't as big as I thought it was because I drove past this all the time years ago. Oh, well not let's see, years ago. Back when I was in college. I drive past this all the time. It looks so much bigger than it actually is. I guess from the road it looks a lot bigger. I'm trying to see if I see any more. Oh cool. I have never seen a tombstone look like a wood pile. And there's a cross on the top of it. My guess is this man was probably a logger, maybe. There's a lot of interesting graves in this cemetery. Alright, I'm going to cut my camera off now because I do have extra batteries, but I kind of want to preserve my battery. So I'm going to try and see if I can find any more, you know, black plaques or anything that looks interesting. And I will show you guys. So, I found another black plaque. Um, this is the Mick Leo Leod Vault, built in the style of a coastal burial chambers in 1854 by Savannah planter Francis Harris Mick. I cannot pronounce that. I am so sorry. I'm butchering that name. An investor in Roswell King Mills, he was the namesake of his grandfather, Francis Harris. First Speaker of 1751 Georgia Colonial Assembly. Six family members were entombed within 1857 to 1891. King Lot was for son-in-law William King. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I legit thought it was like a chamber where they like cremated bodies, because that's what it looked like to me. But it's not, it's just, of course it is sealed off. And this is the king that they were talking about in the plaque. And it clearly says king right here. So yeah, and that's the, that. I'm gonna see if I can find a few more, because there's some other parts of the cemetery I haven't explored yet. So I'm going to see if I can find any more. I didn't find any more of those same plaques like we've been finding throughout the video. But near this house, this is the back of that house that I showed earlier, there is this plaque here that says, sorry I'm out of breath, it's a lot of walking. <laughs> and clearly I'm not in the best shape. Not necessarily fat, but your girl ain't in the best shape that she needs to be in. But anyways, the plaque says, Joan, Joan, do you hear your name? Spoken with praise and laughter, spoken with tears, spoken in our hearts, spoken in our minds, spoken in our prayers. Joan, do you feel the love pouring out like a flood, as nourishing as food, healing the awful hurt, healing our souls, answering our prayers. Joan, Joan, do you know larger than life? That's what they said. That's what you are. That is what we knew. We miss you. So, we miss you so. We miss you so. Joan W. Ellers, May 23rd, 1947 to April 24th, 2020. So this is a memorial that hasn't been here that long. As you can tell, it's last year and it's currently 2021. So, yeah. I think I'm going to walk around just for a little bit longer to show you guys. And I think I'm going to call it quits because your girl's starting to get hungry. Sorry, there's someone racing. I don't know they just... 
Sorry about that. There's a lot of people around here that love to race. No, I saw. No, I think that was just the top of that. Um, that catacombs or whatever that I showed already. But I'm gonna walk around for just a little bit longer and then probably gonna head back to the square because that's where I parked. I might do some filming in the square, but I'm not really sure yet. But we'll see. I don't normally day. I don't normally. I would say daily vlog, but I don't normally vlog because I'm not really the vlogging type of person. But so far, I'm not seeing any more of those plaques. So I think, yeah, because I'm heading back over to where um, the lady in black is right over here. You can see the statue right there. And then I believe Mary Fagan's grave is right over in there in this general area. So I'm pretty much back around where I started. So yeah, I think I'm going to head to the square maybe and get some footage of the square just because it is a nice place. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm in the mirror of the square now. I'm in the center. It is of what's called Global Park. This is the fountain that's in the center. And then you've got your, the Strand Theater right there. And you've got all these shops all around here. And there's the Marietta's New Theater on the square, which I have been to many times. And you've got the famous Marietta Pizza Company, which I'm thinking to go there for lunch because I'm starving on my job. So yeah, this is the famous Marietta Square. And then right over there is the Kennesaw House right behind there. It's the Marietta Museum of History which is an awesome place. If y'all are in Georgia or in the Marietta, Marietta area at all, you should try that place out or, you know, give it a look because it's very interesting. You got a lot of Civil War history. You got a lot of mili uh, other military history, World War One, World War II. Um, a lot of other things. You've got history of, like, the Marietta court system, which all the Marietta, like, court buildings are all right in here. I think there's some down that way because I've had to do jury duty before, which is... Not very fun, so. I actually did have a video at one point of me talking about my jury duty experience, but I privated it. Let me know in the comments if y'all wanted me to unprivate that so y'all can see that. So yeah, that's it for you guys, and I'm gonna go grab me something to eat because I'm starving. You can see me clearly. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. I just pulled up to the house. After I went to the square and I showed you that short little clip before this i went to the Merida pizza company got me some pizza oh not a pizza i got a calzone ate some calzone i will put a picture somewhere she will let it was delicious by the way so yeah i'm at home right now just pulled up i am exhausted and i hope you guys enjoyed that little cemetery um excuse me i was thirsty that uh little cemetery walk through and I guess let me know in the comments if you would like me to start doing more like historic, you know, old historic um, cemeteries walkthroughs and I'll do them. Yeah, so I'm going to go in the house and take probably take a nap. Um, hopefully, y'all, like I said before, you guys enjoyed that and I guess I'll see you some other time. Bye guys.